went missing. In reviewing CCTV footage of the previous day, he spotted something peculiar. He couldn't exactly post private security footage to YouTube, so he played the footage back and sneakily recorded it on his phone. For now, let's take the footage at face value. After briefly hovering by the window, an odd man enters the reception area. He fits all the descriptions we've been given of what a man in black should look like. He's tall, he's thin, he has stilted movement. The pair have an exchange. It's not clear what's said, but whatever is said, it clearly troubles the woman as she reaches for her security gun. But that doesn't seem to faze the man. Far from it. With a simple wave of the hands, the woman's demeanor changes entirely. Dropping the gun without a second's hesitation, she abandoned her post, leaving with the man. People are pretty divided on this one. Some people think this is a real man in black who has come to escort the woman away, presumably because of something she has seen, something she knows. But there are many others, including people who normally believe in the men in black, who think that this one is very much staged. Which side of the debate do you land on? Number one. I don't believe that that was staged. I believe that this is really uh, what had, that really happens. Um, I feel like when he did a little wave with the hand, it could be some type of, you know, hypnot you know to hypnotize us, like a form of like, you know, mind control. All the movies that we see, like MIB, and you know, they have the little flash where, you know, it erases our memories. Well, who knows? If that hasn't happen, happened already, who's to say that half of us have not been erased because we've seen something and of course we're not going to remember it. I mean, so, you know, it is what it is, you know, either you believe or, or you don't believe, but, you know, there's more out there to this world, so I'm just saying I believe that this really happened. Excuse me. All right, guys. So this article that I did find um, is relating back to October 2008 um, at the Niagara Falls where a black triangle UFO was seen over the waterfall. Um, I'm not going to read this whole article, but I wanted to put this in here in real time to scroll. Let me zoom in and just kind of show you guys that you can go look this up. This was published back in 2014. Um out there with Ted so this must be cool all right so basically it talks about um, the UFO that was seen over Niagara Falls and reportedly MIBs showed up and they were looking for I think it was a hotel manager or somebody um, that was had seen a UFO Right there it says in 2009 at the Sheraton Hotel on the banks of Niagara Falls, New York, reports of the man in black first became popular in the 1950s and 60s. Sightings shows what they come in. So basically it just kind of explains um, how the MIBs were tied into basically what was seen in the Niagara Falls. So I just kind of want to show you guys this information. You can guys kind of look, you know, check it out for yourselves. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. This right here is what was seen. It's not the actual picture of it, but I'm, you know, this is basically a model of what was saw. Um, let's see what it says right here. It says. Two hotel employees described the craft they witnessed approximately 240 feet long. 
with three white lights on three on all three sides and a pulse a pulsing red light in the middle of the object they observed the UFO for about 10 minutes as it slowly and silently flew at an altitude of 500 feet east to west from over Niagara's horseshoe fall towards their hotel. The craft emitted a beam of bright white light directed downward towards the water. I need glasses. As they observed the craft, the light beam shifted direction and aimed directly at the two. I wonder if they were going to either be zapped or taken. I don't know. Um, at the two witnesses, which frightened them. And I would have struck off running, honey. A week later, the hotel manager was alone in the hotel parking lot at one in the morning when he noticed another black triangle flying in the same direction, but at much higher altitude. So I'm wondering if like, mm -hmm. wow. Okay, this says about seven months after the, the sightings on May 15th, the hotel employees reported a disturbing appearance when two men, here it goes, who looked and dressed identical in the black trench coats and hats, um, approached the hotel and they were streamy looking odd man, which I'll put that in the video. Um, it says that the the bellman said the two men appeared not to believe him because I guess they were looking for the, the two eyewitnesses and he said that they weren't there and they didn't believe him. So they were kind of interrogating him. Said the hotel manager returned to work the next day, and the bellman took him aside to tell him what had happened and how he how he felt freaked out about the encounter with the two strange men who described who were described as extremely pale, tall, and identical in looks and dress, which I've included that in the video, including matching hats. That's my son, if you hear him, and trench coats. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to check out this video. Um, not this video, but this clip, article, information, it's right here. 